Here we go. Okay. What we doing? What we doing, guys? I want you guys to go ahead and figure out what do we know. What do we know that we can flip over completely? What do we know that we can mark out so we don't flip anything over ever? Go ahead and get to work. Get to work. I already, I already did my work. I already did the work. I know, I know, I know a few things. I know some things. <laughs> All right. What do we know? What do we know? Let's see. Peter says we know the blues. Yep. If he means the blue row, he is right. He is 100% right. We know the blue row is completely safe to flip over. Let's go ahead and flip all of that. We're at level four. We're at level four. I'm going to stop talking like this is a tutorial. We're in the meat of this game. Uh, let's see. We know 5-1. Sheepa says we know 3-2. Uh, he's talking about the purple column. We don't touch any of that. He's 100% right. Let's see. We know the green uh, green row. He's right. He is 100% right. Don't touch any of that. It's not safe. I want to play. How about the yellow, yellow column? Yep. We know the yellow column is untouchable. It cannot be touched. It is unable to be touched. Uh, that's all we know at first glance looking at it. Pretty dope. We know a lot. That's actually... Having it crossed like that is actually pretty good because that means we're, we're mixing it up a lot. All right. Oh, safest guess is this square. I don't think we're at that point yet, but the safest guess would be the yellow, the the square that intersects the green column and the yellow row. Sorry, not safest, most beneficial. Um, I want to look at the red row. There's two Voltors, and the squares that are left add up to equal five. Is that a bad place to start looking? Why do I always pick the bad place to start looking? This is... Okay, so two of these are Voltorbs and the rest add up to equal five. Let's assume these two are Voltorbs. This is... Well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna click everything over. Let's assume these two are Voltorbs. That means the three squares that are left have to add up to equal five. So, for this... This row, the rest of this can be ones, twos, or Voltorbs. I guess that's that's the best we have to start with. All right, so chat saying green, do do the green column. I'm not going to just start flipping stuff over. There's stuff that we can figure out. <laughs> this stuff. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, so one of these could be a three as well. Dang it, because three plus one plus one equals five. Ugh, we don't know nothing. We don't know nothing. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to just start flipping stuff over. This, Like I said, this was the most beneficial guess. But that's in the case that we haven't even found anything else. We, we got to at least try stuff first. We got to at least try this stuff first. Okay, looking at this row, if this one's a Voltorb and the rest, just assuming, if this is a Voltorb and the rest are numbers, that means we have to fill up eight amongst four squares. Eight amongst four squares. We're moving on. We're moving off of that road. That's that's foolish. Let's 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 not mess with that just yet. Okay. Uh, how about we go here? Let's assume these two are Voltorbs. Then it's more or less the same situation with the the top row. The ones that are left can be any number. All right. Uh, now let's look at columns. Let's look at columns. We have five here. I'm sorry. We have five in this this red column. One already revealed. There's two Voltorbs and the rest add up to equal four. Guess what? It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be anything. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Okay. Um... This, this, why am I even looking at this like I'm trying to figure out? This could be anything. With the number being so high, this can be anything. Can it not be a one? Let's assume. Yo, wait a second. Hang on. I was joking around with that. Wait a second. If this is a Voltorb, let's assume this square here is the Voltorb. The one that has the pin marker in it. If this is the Voltorb... Then
none of them could be ones, right? For the green column. If this square has the Voltorb, then none of the rest can be ones. Because we already have one revealed. Take that away. We have nine num the numbers add up to equal nine. Am I am I am I foolish for that? Is that is that silly? Am I messing up big time? I don't want to be messing up big time. Is that hang on, is, is that right? Is that right? Assuming this is the Voltorb. This is the Voltorb, isn't it? This can't be a one. Because if it's a one. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me let me pen and paper this one real quick. If that's a one. If that's a one, that means there's two points. You would have to have eight for the rest, and there's still one Voltorb. This is the Voltorb, isn't it? Because it can't work if this is the one. If this is the one. If this is the one, that adds two. That means eight left. Three. And then one of these still has to be a Voltorb. This is the Voltorb. Right? <laughs> okay. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. This has to be the Voltorb. That's, that's the Voltorb, right? Um, win or lose, I want to know whether or not that squares the Voltorb. Okay. So if that's the Voltorb, I'm flipping them. I'm flipping them. <laughs> I'm flipping them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I feel like I'm going crazy. I've got, I feel like I've got the crazy look on my face. That has to be the Voltorb, right? I'm flipping them. I'm flipping them. If, if I'm wrong, crucify me. Not really. Not really. It's 2017. Hey! It is! <laughs> okay. Ooh, I'm sweating. Oh, I'm gonna need a new bandana. <laughs> I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna need a new bandana. I'm gonna need a new bandana. Okay. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. That, that helped us out a lot, didn't it? Let's go back over stuff. Let's go back over <laughs> they losing their mind in chat. <laughs> okay, if this is a three, and there's two Voltorbs here, that means there's two points left, and the rest have to be Voltorbs. Everything here is Voltorbs or ones, right? In the red row. Red row is what I was looking at, sorry. Red row, everything else is Voltorbs or ones. Voltorbs or ones. Voltorbs or ones, baby. Voltorbs or ones. Okay. Uh, uh, where are we going next? Where are we going next? We can, can we do this one? Can we do the purple? We probably should have did purple first. That would have made it easier to tell about the red. I'm sorry, we would have had red guaranteed. But whatever, we're here now. We're here now. Um, seven points in this row. The numbers out to equal seven. There's three here. So that means the rest of this adds up to equal four with two Voltorbs. There's two Voltorbs, and then the other two squares add up to equal four. We can't. Sorry. Excuse me. Wait a second. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was going to say, I was going to say, we already know that we know that this one and this one are the good ones, but that's not true. Because if one of these two is three, then there's the possibility that the other is a Voltorb. But if one of these is a two, then the other one's also a two. Okay. So we know that for the purple row. We know that for the purple row. Purple row is not done. But then the only other square we have to look at is this one. The one that intersects the red column and the yellow row. Okay. Oh, wait. I completely walked over this square, didn't I? Or did I take something out and forget to put it back? I don't remember. Let's figure it out. Uh, five. We have one here, so the rest of this row adds up to equal four with two Voltorbs. Let's see. I feel like I took some out of this one and forgot to put it back. And it's gonna it's gonna cost me the game. Watch. Okay. Numbers in this yellow row add up to equal eight with one Voltorb. There's three here, so the rest of the squares add up to equal five, and there's one Voltorb. If this is a three, then that's one more. Let's see. If this is a three, that makes six. One here makes seven, and this makes eight. 
but now I need to be sure. And now I need to... Did, did I take something out of this row, out of this square, the one that intersects with the blue column and the yellow row? Because if I did, then there's information that might screw me over, screw us over. I'm looking at this blue column as well. I'm looking at this blue column. If this is the three, then we have three plus one is four, one is five, and then the rest are Voltorbs. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember if I took anything out of here. I don't remember if I took anything out of this square, a marker that I had in this square or not. The rest of the game is hinging on. <laughs> it's hinging on that square. What's this one? How about this one? Oh, man. I messed up. I feel like I messed up somewhere. Did I mess up? <laughs> Did I mess up? Let's see, he's saying this one could be a Voltorb, a two, or a one. Or a three. That's what Sheepish is saying. So it could be anything. <laughs> I just looked at that. So that could be anything. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't like this. We have four squares left, and they could all be anything. Four squares left, and they could all be anything. There's something. There's so we, there has to be something. There has to be something that we can know. I feel like we're just not looking at it right. Let's see. Seven. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it the same situation as last time? I think it's the same situation where it's the coin flip. Eight, eight, and one. Eight and one in the yellow. In the yellow row. Three here. That means there's five left. There's five left. Five left and one Voltorb. Three would be six. Three and three would be six. One, one Voltorb. Okay, I think these are both safe. These are both safe. There's five left if we take out this three. When I say these, I mean this square and this square. If we take out this three, there's five left in this row. These can't both be ones because it won't add up to five. So one of them isn't a one, definitely. If this is a three, that makes three, four, five. Oh, shoot. This could be a vote. One of these two. One of these two is safe, definitely. That's what we know. One of these two is safe. We don't know which one. It's coin flip again. Coin flip. All right, you guys go ahead. Pick which one we do. All right, let's see. Uh, I'd recommend red yellow just because five is higher than four. Not much to go on. Uh, let's see. Uh, he said red yellow. Which one is that one? Red yellow. Red yellow. That's this one? Yeah, that's the... Yeah, that's the safest. I'm sorry, most beneficial. That's the most beneficial guess. Well, really, both of these are equally beneficial. But Sheep is saying red yellow... We're going, we're going red, yellow. We're doing the sheepish initiative. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's the Voltorb. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, I, honestly, I didn't pick one. I didn't mentally pick one. So I have no idea which one I would have picked. 